Uh, as you know, H. pylori infection is worldwide uh, um, diffuse because half of the world population is infected. And uh, as, uh, as we know, it uh, leads to uh, chronic gastritis, peptic ulcer disease, and it's well known to, be, uh, to have a carcinogenic effect. If we want to get rid of this bacterium, we need to use antibiotics. And uh, we actually need more than one antibiotics. And uh, to have these antibiotics work in the, in the stomach, we need also to add the proton pump inhibitors. And we give all these uh, antibiotics plus the proton pump inhibitor for seven days. We use the antibiotics for 10 days in our sequential treatment, but uh, some other may use these antibiotics for 15 days. And uh, as you know, whenever we take antibiotics, the, this drug will not only affect the pathogens, but also the normal enteric flora. We use antibiotics in H. pylori. We are giving also proton pump inhibitors. And uh, this will enhance the effect of antibiotics in the, in the gut because proton pump inhibitors favor bacterial overgrowth. So the first take home message is that antibiotic not only affects pathogens, but also influences our microbiota. And if patient is taking proton pump inhibitors, this may well enhance the effect of antibiotics. So one concept that is, uh, I, I, I think, important is uh, to know what is colonization resistance. Because in our gut, uh, we have uh, more than 400 species of bacteria. They perform a lot of functions that are very important for our life, because they are involved in motility, in uh, immune function, and uh, in absorption. And so colonization resistance refers to these complex interaction between these bacteria in our gut that perform this function. And if we take an antibiotic, we will, uh, we, we will disrupt this interaction, and this may cause symptoms. And so once your colonization resistance is disrupted, you may will have overgrowth of bacteria and so that are potentially pathogenic, that can be either resident or coming from outside. And this overgrowth may be responsible of symptoms. That's why you may, the rationale is that if an antibiotics is reducing your own flora, you may restore this flora by the co-administration of probiotics. As you know, whenever we take an antibiotic, we, we may have symptoms. And those may be vogue symptoms, such as nausea, headache, taste disturbances, vomiting. But some are most common and, most, uh, and more uh, uh, refer to the GI tract, such as abdominal distension, abdominal pain, and diarrhea. The incidence uh, is not uh, low because there are several studies that have uh, shown, at least in children, that if these are outpatients, you may experience uh, from 6 to 14 percent of these children may have antibiotic associated diarrhea. If the patient is uh, inpatient, so he's in the hospital, it is uh, even higher and it may reach about one-third of these patients may experience diarrhea. So dealing with uh, this problem, antibiotic-associated diarrhea is responsible of longer hospital, uh, hospital stay. It's uh, on average eight days. It increases the cost of care. So I think that the second uh, take-home message is that uh, prevention of antibiotic-associated diarrhea may decrease morbidity, may decrease cost of care, and perhaps uh, we need also to to study this issue, it may decrease the emergence of resistance uh, to that particular antibiotic in the indigenous flora. How uh, a probiotic may work? Actually, there are several mechanisms. Uh, we have non-immunological, and then you have, of course, immunological uh, mechanism of action. Uh, there have been several trials in adults showing that uh, uh, several probiotics uh, may have an effect in preventing side effects during H. pylori treatment. But there was no study in children. So I mm, tried uh, this uh, probiotic in children in this trial. What we actually did, we, we take 40 H. pylori infected children treated uh, with our sequential regime for eradication, and they were randomized either to receive reuteri or placebo, and we give this for 20 days. 10 days of treatment and 10 days of follow-up. And then we monitored symptoms. And so the results of our study are reported here. But what we were impressed is that a patient who actually had received reuteri had a dramatically decrease in, uh, in symptoms, e even at the end of treatment. 
So showing that this probiotic is actually doing something on symptoms. And when we analyzed all the symptoms that you can see here, what we, we saw, most of the patients with placebo had quite one third who was experienced uh, symptoms. And uh, when uh, we compared those who, um, to those who, who received the uh, uh, reuteri, as you can see, there is a quite dramatic reduction in each individual symptom. So in our experience, it worked well. When these patients have been treated with three antibiotics for 10 days, plus a proton pump inhibitor. So they have good reason to have diarrhea, actually. And uh, the mean duration of diarrhea also was, uh, was shorter in patients who had received reuteri as compared to those who had received uh, placebo. And uh, if we go to the other symptoms, um, actually, few patients had abdominal distension as compared to those who have been treated with placebo. And I think the abdominal distension is one of the symptoms that is uh, best uh, treated by a probiotic and also by reuteri. And uh, what we were actually impressed is that also epigastric pain was reduced by these bacteria. And uh, I was uh, a bit afraid of saying this because there is, in my mind, no reason why probiotic should reduce uh, epigastric pain, although in literature, other probiotics have shown to have this, this effect. But we may have an answer. Because in a previous trial where 40 H. pylori infected adults uh, naive to treatment uh, were uh, randomized to receive either reuteri or placebo before commencing the eradication therapy, uh, we uh, monitor the, the, the bacterial load by means of urea breath test and the H. pylori stool antigen that are semi-quantitative measure of H. pylori load. And what we show is that those patients who were randomized to receive reuteri had a decrease a either in uh, urea breath test and the H. pylori stool antigen, meaning that this probiotic may reduce bacterial load. It won't cure, but at least will reduce the, the bacterial load of H. pylori in your stomach. And so perhaps for this reason, these patients are uh, experience less epigastric pain than those who were receiving placebo because it's an additional effect on the effects of antibiotics. Uh, as uh, recently come up this study where other physicians have used reuteri and compared with other probiotics and they monitor the incidence of side effects in patients who have been treated with triple therapy for seven days with no probiotic, triple therapy for seven days with a probiotic mixture that was probinul Probinol used in triple therapy for 14 days, and then triple therapy for seven days using reuteri. And also this uh, uh, study clearly shows that those who were treated with, for, with triple therapy plus reuteri have a dramatic decrease in the incidence of side effects as compared to those who receive no uh, probiotic or probiotic mixture uh, added to uh, seven days or 14 days of treatment. So this has become not just one center experience, but is more center that actually found the same results. Th and then this uh, strength, uh, the efficacy of this product. And so I believe the last take home message would be that reuteri perhaps should be always co-administered during H. pylori eradication treatment, because you, may, you have three reasons. First of all, you may uh, enhance the reduction of bacterial load. You may prevent antibiotic-associated diarrhea and overall antibiotic-associated side effects. So why to go for another probiotic if you have this probiotic that works in, on three ways? And so uh, my conclusion is that, that antibiotic treatment not only affects pathogens but also influences uh, our microbiota and uh, alters colonization resistance. Proton pump inhibitors may enhance the effect of antibiotics, and we have to keep this in mind because there are plenty of patients on PPI for several reasons for long term. Antibiotics may select highly resistant, persistent flora in our own gut, and uh, this seems that can be reduced by the co-administration of probiotics, but need, this needs to be studied further. Uh, to prevent antibiotic-associated diarrhea, specific strain at high dose should be used. Reuteri should always be administered during uh, H. pylori eradication treatment to reduce side effects.